e bana mambo vipi naitwa Rogens uh, website developer tunatumia wordpress magento jumla tutengeneza website so of course leo nakuja kukuonyesha ni payment gateway is gani au ni mifumo gani ambayo unaweza kutumia Tanzania kupokea ma- malipo mtandaoni kwa sasa tunazo kama system tano ambazo zinafanya kazi vizuri na zimetestiwa na zinafanya kazi fresh zaidi na tutapitia mara kwa mara hapo uangalie kama unahitaji kuanzisha biashara au kama unataka kuanzisha online store yoyote ya kuuza movie ya kuuza software ya kuuza nini hauna haja ya kufikiria utawafikia vipi wateja wako kwa sababu mwanzoni tulikuwa tukitumia credit card debit card mastercard visa pamoja na na PayPal lakini kwa sasa hivi tume tumeletewa add mobile payments mobile payments so leo nakupitisha kwa haraka haraka kampuni tano ambazo unaweza kutumia moja kati ya ya hizi hapa ambazo unaweza kutumia kwa ajili ya kulink na na online store yako iwe ya WordPress iwe ya, ya Magento iwe ya Shopify na uweze kupokea malipo online kutoka kwa wateja wako okay so ki ya kwanza ambayo tunaanza nayo ni latest na ni mpya hapa kwa Bongo ni as Azampay as ni ni ni, 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 ni system nadhani mnafahamu kampuni ya Azam lakini pia umetuletea mfumo wa kufanya malipo online ambapo una accept tofauti uh, kutoka pesa unapokea pesa kutoka nchi tofauti na kwa kutumia njia tofauti kuna Mastercard kuna Visa kuna PayPal hapo hapo pia kuna mobile payments kuna Azam pesa kuna Tigo Shio, kuna Tigo pesa kuna Airtel money pia kuna Halo pesa umumu kwa hiyo unachofanya ni kuwasiliana na na Azam ukiwasiliana nao though ni brand mpya kwa hiyo bado wanafanyia maintenance na na, na, na registrations na advertisement lakini kama u kwa tayari kwa ajili ya kutumia IPI zao kwa ajili ya kuintegrate na mfumo wako wa, wa online unaweza kuwasiliana nao unawasiliana nao then wanakutumia APIs unaweza kwenye kwenye website yako na unaanza kupokea malipo kwa hiyo kwa Tanzania itakuwa rahisi zaidi kufanya malipo kwa Tanzania kwa sababu watu wengi wanatumia mobile payments na watu wengi wako aware na na na, na, na masuala ya, ya ya Mastercard credit card so hata kama unauza vitu vya kawaida kama movies uh, na simple softwares watu watakuwa na uwezo kukulipa online kwa kupitia uh, Azampay lakini pia kama una duka la unahitaji wafanya kazi au, au wateja wako waweze kulipa online digital digital wise unaweza kutumia uh, mfumo wa Azampay so kwa wale wa WordPress wale wa Magento Shopify ulikuwa unateseka unahangaika jinsi ya kupokea malipo this is for you Azam Pay is there for you just communicate with them na 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 utapata services kulingana na na huduma unahitaji the next one is a uh, DPO group na hawa pia wana wana offer almost like it, like tiny tiny african countries you can see not 10 kama 20 unaweza kupokea malipo kutoka Afrika nchi yote Afrika lakini pia unaweza kupokea ma, malipo kutoka nchi yoyote almost duniani lakini pia wanatoa hizo options za kulipa kwa mobile money do you see here na unaonyesha view payment methods kwamba wanapokea kwa njia zipi kwa hiyo kama una online store na ulikuwa unapata shida mwanzo tulikuwa tunapata shida ya kupokea malipo online lakini kwa sasa unaweza kupokea kupitia Mastercard Visa card uh, American Express yo dina club international lakini kwa payment gateways for mobile money unaweza kuchukua ukapata hela kupitia airtel money kupokea mpesa pia mpesa tigo pesa orange money yeah there's so much more i think this is uh, option na, na, lakini pia wame integrate na others kama dpo company kuna paypal kuna online eft lakini kuna ussd ussd ni zile za nyota 150 nyota bonyeza moja weka namba ya kampuni ndo ussd everything is working hata qr code wanatoa so unachofanya unaji, unajisajiri kwenye website unajiregister kwenye website ya dpo group then watakupa form kama hapo naona watakupa form ambayo itaijaza baadaye utawatumia lesson ya business yako na na baada ya hapo watakutumia API code ambazo utaziweka kwenye website yako na utaanza kupokea malipo direct kutoka kwa kutoka online lakini pia gharama zao ni ninafuza zaidi kuna kwani asilimia tatu, asilimia nne per transaction nadhani hii ni iko fresh okay lakini pia kuna Selcom Selcom pia wanatoa huduma the same the same yani zinafanana almost kwa hiyo ni choose una choose unaweza kupitia ukasoma zote moja baada nyingine na ukaona ni ipi iko valuable sana na inaweza kukusaidia wewe na hawa pia wanatoa Selcom huduma Selcom Pay Selcom Card Selcom Banking na Selcom 
week rewards. Kwa hiyo unaweza kuchagua kuna baadhi ya mashine kama hizi hapa kama unaoduka unapewa kama hizi hapa ambayo mtu anaweza kaja kalipa kawaida hizi hapa lakini pia kuna kuwa na mobile payments lakini kwa sasa mimi nazungumzia wale wa online kwa unaweza kupokea malipo online kupitia Sekom na Asa for mobile money kwa kama ulikuwa na shida ya kupokea malipo kupitia Mpesa Tigo Pesa this is for you guys you can use uh, Azampay DPO Sekom lakini pia kuna nyingine uh, wanzetu from Kenya though ina, inafanya kazi almost East Africa unaweza kuchagua version ya nchi uliopo let's say this is for Tanzania I'm in Tanzania but if you're in Kenya you can choose Kenya Malawi, Tanzania, Rwanda, Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe, etc. depends with the location where you are. Lakini pia they all bring the same services. What I like from from Pesapo ana complication sana ya uh, kwenye integration zao. Online payments utapokea kupitia mitandao Tigo Pesa, Mpesa, Airtel Money tiko pesa mpesa ya terimane na system zao aziko complicated sana kumchosha mteja au mtu anayelipa so guys just visit them unaweza click login i usually this area na nimekuwa nikitumia hii hapa na nimepokea baadhi ya maripo kupitia kwenye website yangu so i really recommend uh, pesa po. they are doing great they are doing great na na can show you the little transaction i made yeah uh, ndo transaction ambayo nimefanya almost nime draw na nimebakiza hii era i don't know if that we. na treasured ya kudownload ya kuna nani umeona hizi transaction kutoka kwenye website ambazo nimepokea malipo pia wanaweza wanakupa uwezo wa kutengeneza kutengeneza invoice automatically so unaweza kaona kwa mfano hapa huyu mteja alinilipa 1300 let me see so nika click hapa hivi naona kwamba this is was a transaction hii hapa uh, was paid hii hapa commission hivi complete commerce purchase this is this is was my website ni kwa nikiuza movie so do you see transaction yote inakuwa inakuonyesha kwa hiyo hata invoice my invoice inakuja hapa kwenye invoice unakuta invoice yako iko ready kabisa so Unfortunately I didn't create an invoice but naweza naweza make invoice I didn't make an invoice here so the fast and secure naweza katembelea pia nimetumia nimeshatumia API zao that's why you see kuna malipo nimeshafanya nime kwenye 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 nani yangu so I really recommend them they're doing great. Uh, na mteja wako analipa kupitia Mastercard, Visa pamoja na mobile payments. Kwa mfano mimi hizi hapa ni transaction za mobile payments. Kwa account yako unakuwa na wa, na wallet hapa na baadaye unakuja ku request with the draw ambao una link hapa na account yako ya bank na no minimum threshold ya ku, ya ku, ya ku draw ni shilingi tisa So kuna kuwa na bank account hapa unaweza kacheki so unakuwa umeweka bank account yako unatumia account gani bank gani then after there una click with the draw the another one is a uh, flutter wave flutter wave also wanatoa payments options okay unaweza kutuma hela pia ukapokea hela kupitia flutter wave those so here so cha kufanya unatembelea website ya flutter wave pia unasoma na unacheki uh, policies though na hii nimeshaitumia nimeshaitumia so they are also good uh, pesa tego pesa they working mwanzo ni kwa nikipata challenge ya napata wateja lakini kwenye kulipa ajui kutumia paypal au ana account na paypal au pia hana access na na, na card is visa card master card ana kwa hiyo ilikuwa ni ngumu lakini kwa sasa hivi almost average wa Tanzania wengi na East Africa most of people wanatumia uh, mobile payments kwa hiyo hata ukiwa na bidhaa zako uh, kupokea payments online inakuwa very easy that you see this is my my, my dashboard for for filter wave those kwa tumia for payments lakini they are also good i just tried them some money ni withdraw that's why see there is 0.00 yeah kwa so, easy ni, 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 ni sections tano ambazo unaweza kutumia uka integrate kwenye website yako kwa ajili ya kufanya malipo au kwa ajili ya kupokea malipo so number one is uh, azampay number two is group dpo group Number three is Selcom. Number four is uh, this Pesa Po, and number five is Andres Possibilities from Filter Wave. Okay. So guys kama una website yako au unataka kufanya transaction au ni developer pia unatafuta una the best payment gateways to integrate it to your customers I think I recommend you this. Though kuna pe, kuna Stripe Stripe working worldwide lakini kwa sasa hatujafikia kwa Tanzania hatuna access ya Stripe Stripe I when I just tried to contact them why we don't have access but 
it's good lakini hatuna access lakini kwa hizo nyingine hata ukipata mteja kutoka nje anaweza kafanya maripo direct kupitia hiyo nani kupitia hizi platform tano zinafanya kazi hapa East Africa very very fine and very efficient okay but you can visit also stripe to see maybe ukiwa ni developer unafanya kazi kwa mtu au kwa mteja let's say freelancer unafanya kazi kwa mtu ambaye nchi yao ina accept stripe unaweza uka, uka visit pia uka check policies the next time unaweza uka, uka recommend ukatumia stripe because ukifanya hivyo unatumia una, una, una APIs za yule mwe, yule ambaye yuko nchi husika ambao ina accept then baadaye unakuwa unapokea maripo guys okay i think thank you very much this is a little brush out kuhusiana na payment gateways so in tanzania now i think we can we can we can we can use online gateways to accept the payments thank you so nick see you in the next tutorial ambayo tutatengeneza how to integrate jinsi gani ya ku integrate is apis za payment gateways kwenye website hasa za huko masikomas na kupokea malipo direct na ukoo unaona message na emails na wateja wako trend wanavyoipa kila kitu nitaonyesha next tutorial jinsi ya kuintegrate huu mfumo thank you see you in the next tutorial